Today I'm going to be covering my settings, my controller settings, my graphics settings, my audio settings. I'm beginning to ask, what are my settings? How am I able to get this many FPS? How am I able to play so good? Why is my aim really good? All that stuff. So I'm going to be showing it off and explaining it all here today. But without further ado, let's get right into the gameplay. Guess who got a DNA bomb? Rick, you better get yours.
Rick, guess what I got? Yes, sir! Y'all better like and subscribe! <laughs> No, get off the hardpoint, get off the hardpoint, get off the hardpoint, get off the hardpoint, get off the hardpoint. Hard Guys, get off, let the game end, let the game end. Triple nuke, triple DNA bomb. Oh my f***ing god. How did it feel to get huh? What the you y'all doing? Y'all better like and f***ing subscribe, Alright, so for the settings over here, I don't use a keyboard mouse, so I'm gonna be showing off my controller settings first. This is my button layout, L2 is my tactical. L1 is my aim down sight. I jump with left stick. My R2 is lethal. My R1 is fire. My circle is sprint, which I do not use. And my X is melee. Circle and X is buttons that I do not use at all. And I slide and dive and change my stance with right stick. Off, off, default. Controller vibration off. Trigger effect off. And then for my dead zones, I've actually switched them up. My left stick is now one. My left stick max is 65. My right stick minimum is three. And my right stick max is is 99 and my left and right trigger are both at zero with my left stick max being at 65 and not 99 i'm able to start sprinting and moving a lot faster i'll hit the max point quicker so i'll be able to tack sprint sprint move and all that stuff a lot faster and for the left stick min i have it at one because i'm trying to hit rotational aim assist as quickly as as i can so once i'm aiming or i'm fighting somebody literally i just have to move the stick a little bit and i'll have rotational aim assist before them and then for my right stick minimum i really do like zero as well but three just gives me a lot more control and i feel like i hit more shots with a higher right stick minimum then for aiming i'm at seven six now i started off with i believe 15 15 when modern warfare 3 came out I've dropped down to 7.6 and I also now and also now I've disabled my ADS sensitivity multiplier and I've actually enabled sensitivity per zoom. A sensitivity multiplier is all this stuff right over here. You won't even actually notice it. Vertical aim access is all standard. My tax stance sensitivity multiplier is 0.80. My aim response curve type. This is a huge switch. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I went from dynamic to linear. I feel like now with this later part of Modern Warfare 3, I'm not going to be switching my settings as much. And in linear's description, it literally says that it's ideal for players who have mastered the tweaking of the aiming settings which i have with my new settings then my ads sense multiplier focus is at 1.0 my ads sensitivity transition timing is instant instant gradual i feel like gradual it makes me mess up a lot more so i went with instant so i immediately hit my custom sensitivity multiplier quicker and i was able to get used to it a lot better and transition to it smoother and then for my custom sensitivity per zoom the reason why i switched to this was because when i was using a sniper or a marksman rifle something with a big scope weapons like those i was having a hard time actually drag scoping and or locking onto people with it so i decided to actually turn this setting on and adjust all the sensitivity multipliers to what i like so for low zoom at 2.3 i have it at 0. 0.65 that's what i usually have it as so this is for like iron sights or like you know two to three zoom scopes and then between four to seven x zoom i have it at 0.90 and then from eight to nine x zoom and high zoom i have it at one i feel like with these settings no matter what scope i use i'll always be fast and actually have sticky aim so that's what i have it as right there for aim assist type i have default and then for my automatic sprint i have automatic tactical sprint and this is the reason why i don't use my circle button at all every time i simply just move the left stick i start sprinting and using the tack sprint so there's a lot of bonuses for using automatic tactical sprint and then slide maintain sprint is off because i feel like and it's kind of well known with all the warzone pros and movement players in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone, you have a lot more dead slots if you have the setting on, so I have it off. Then auto move forward is off. And then for my tactical sprint behavior, I have single tap run. And then for these three, I have off. I like to have my mantle movement all to myself. I don't wanna have any assistance because imagine I'm snaking and or, and I get stuck and it's just the worst possible situation. So with my settings, I try to negate that and minimize the chances of that happening a lot. And then for my slide slash dive behavior, I switched from hybrid all the way to slide only. And there's only one reason. Let's be honest, we don't really think to dive in any game mode in multiplayer 
and or Warzone, we only do it when we're just messing around. And for hybrid, you're mostly only sliding. But if you're on slide only, your slide is more responsive. As soon as you press it, it just feels like it happens instantly. With hybrid or any other slide slash dive behavior, there's like a slight delay and it does not feel smooth at all. And ever since I switched to slide only for my slide slash dive behavior, my movement has been better. My response time to literally everything has felt better. And I'm breaking kids' ankles more than ever now. But yeah, everything is pretty much the standard. And pretty much everything's normal. Interact slash reload behavior, I'll switch depending on what I'm playing. Multiplayer, I'm doing prioritized reload. And then for Warzone, I use prioritized interact. You'll reload quicker with prioritized reload and multiplayer. You'll pick up things a lot faster with prioritized interact. That's literally all it's different. But yeah, these are all the settings that I have for my controller. Pretty basic stuff other than the sensitivities and my controller layout. Now for my graphics, which is the biggest question I've been asked recently. How do I get... 400 500 600 fps in any game mode any map all that stuff for my display mode is full screen borderless it's not that big of a difference from exclusive and then for my graphics card i have the amd radeon rx 7900 xtx and if you're going to be switching any settings make sure to press this button after you're done and reload the game because if you don't press this and restart your game none of the graphic settings that you do will actually apply and everything here is normal my brightness is 50 and my eco modes custom my frame rate limit is unlimited so pretty normal stuff and then i'm not gonna lie a lot of this stuff is normal except for the upscaling slash sharpening so for my upscaling slash sharpening you guys might not have it because i am on an amd radeon rx card most of you guys might be on nvidia but amd fsr is literally just like amd software that's frame regeneration and gives us faster frame rate at higher not higher qualities but at high resolutions and i have it on native which is the worst one to put it on if you were trying to get frames but i have it on native and i have amd frame generation on and this upscaling slash sharpening option allows me to get 400, 500, 600 FPS constantly. And then my VRAM scale target, it's at 50. And if you didn't know, the 7900 XTX is basically the 4090, but a lot cheaper. But I have it on 50 because before I had it on all the way up to like 90. And I would have graphic issues with Big Map Warzone. And that was the worst for zombies because I would get stuck in random places so i have it on 50 but ever since i switched it from the max to 50 i've had no rendering or graphic issues at all and then everything here is normal for these two and it's the basic everything on low or off for all my settings i have bullets and impacts on because i just like it like that shader quality low on demand texture streaming off low very low for shadows have shadows off completely if you're on pc and everything's basically the normal stuff. And then for my FOV, I have nothing special. Not like 112 or 100 or 110, 117 on all that stuff. I just have it on the max. ADS field of view is affected. Weapon field of view is wide because it's smaller. So you're able to see more. 90 wide, off, off. Film grain off. Least, least. And yeah. Then for my audio settings, I personally like PC speaker a lot. A lot of people recommend either soundbar, headphone, bass boost, or PC speaker. I feel like I hear a lot more, can tell where things are a lot better with PC speaker. So I switched to PC speaker and obviously just like the regular stuff. My master game volume is at 80. My effects volume is at 100. Everything else is off except for dialogue. Voice chat, 14. Voice chat's obviously on. It's just the normal stuff. Subtitles off, mono, classic, all that stuff. And then for my interface, subtitles all off. I don't really care about subtitles. Here's a big one, a big setting that people should be changing, even if you're on console. This is my HUD palette right here. But the color filter settings, I feel like I see a lot more with the color filter too than it being off. So I have it on both at 100. Then for my HUD, I have it on the lowest it can be, the smallest it can be, whatever that's called. <laughs> square on on and then for crosshairs i have it on static that's the best one i kind of forget what it does off the top of my head but it's a lot better than on so have it on static and everything here is normal my telemetry i have my fps counter my serving latency my packet loss to just show that i'm not on a vpn and all that stuff and to show all my fps so you guys can comment about it and it pretty much everything's normal but yeah those are my settings if you guys enjoyed and want more videos like this drop a like subscribe let me know in the comments how much fps you actually get in call of duty and yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.